Daz Cameron, who's joining us now on Ballpark Cam. Have you made the electric play of the week presented by Chevrolet, Daz? In the aftermath, I need you to be honest with us. Did, did you know you had that play the whole time? Yeah, so Rosario was a guy that um, that he can drive the ball to right center a little bit. Mm -hmm. So uh, I make sure that you know I could uh, make I make sure that I could you know uh, see see the see the ball at the bat and uh, get a good read on it. And uh, once he took the swing, I I, I knew that I, where I was in the field, knowing that I was you know close close for, uh, to the wall. So uh, with that with with that being said, I'm I'm close to it, and you kind of get that feeling of knowing where you, where you're at in your surroundings. And uh, I saw that the ball had a chance of going out. I want to make sure I get up, uh, jump up, and, and grab the ball, try to reel it back in, fight. Oh, he was out there, you know, pitching good for us, you know, through five, and we we're down by one, by one run there. So um, it's just uh, uh, in that situation, trying to do anything to protect protect our guy on the mound, man, to play play some defense behind him mm. to get the, the job done, help him get that, help us get that win. So yeah, man, that was Love that it. was, now, it, it was now. pretty interesting. No, no, I, what I'm saying, I love that play. So then Miggy yells to you right after, hey, send that one to your dad. So I want to ask you, did you let Pops know, like, I got this too now, Pops? Yeah, 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 man, of course. Um, Miggy, uh, Miggy actually came to me after the game. He was like, hey, man, I've seen that, seen that play before. He said, you look just like your dad. I said, he just texted me. He sent me a laughing emoji. And he was all <laughs> happy about it. If he would have been here, he would have told me, Hey, man, that was a good catch. You would have said something like, that's a good catch, man. You got a long ways to go. We always joke around with stuff like that. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> hey, we got to remind uh, folks, Dad. That, we we, we got to remind special. folks how good Dad was. Mike Cameron, one of the best to patrol the outfield in the show. He made some electric plays himself. Yes. And speaking of pops, last year I was doing one of our clubhouse games with CC Sabathia, CY Chris Young, and we had your pops on as a special guest. And he had this little story to share. I want you to take a listen. Yesterday, uh, they were playing against St. Louis. He plays against Johnny Lester, another guy he was shagged out in the field with, who used to play catch with him in the outfield. Mm -hmm. And I told him everything that he was going to do to him. He goes up there, takes the back door slider. I said, God. <laughs> hey, does, hey does, he, does he listen to your advice, though, or are you the old dude that don't know what you're talking about? Nah, nah, he used to do that. <laughs> Ever since he's been playing pro ball, that dude reaches out to me like every nice. other night. Ah, oh, that's good. Every, that's every good. other night. All right, Dez, do you, do you remember that strikeout against Johnny Lester and then thinking to yourself, should have listened to Pops? <laughs> well, don't want to remember too many of those strikeouts. Kind of just want to wash, wash it sometimes because that's just part of the game. But... But I do remember the, that uh, that one AB with Les. You know, he's all he was got in Les throw his back slider, and I'm just after that strikeout, I was just thinking to myself, okay, my dad, he's gonna say something about that. He's gonna say something about that strikeout. If he if, if he deal, if he does mention this, I'm just gonna say, you know, hey, that's what I saw. You know, Les, he's a guy that's not good. He's not gonna come in and on too too often. He'll stay away later in his career. But with that being said, that. You were right about that. <laughs> there yeah. we go. There we go. <laughs> That's a smart son. Now I want to take, I want to take you back to the mud hands. Now you had another another buddy, another teammate, Cody Clemens, that had a famous dad. Also, now it's always been cool to me, like when pops plays in the big leagues. I couldn't imagine my two little boys. I got a freshman, sophomore, you know, in high school. How cool it would be to see their son in the show. Well, you guys, you guys are the sons in the show. Did you guys bond over talking about some dad and, you know, maybe they facing each other and talking some smack that way? Oh, man, Cody, he's cool. I mean, I, I so, me, so me and Cody played against each other, uh, like growing up, you know, and during, the, during some summers mm -hmm. and travel ball from like 16 to, you know, 18, whatever, and, um, He's a guy that just he knows he knows the game. He knows like you know what it what it takes to just go out there, and just have fun and play, man. So me and him always joke around. We talk about you know uh, stuff during the game just to kind of just you know keep it you know free and free and open and, and fun, man. And then be able to just enjoy enjoy the process of uh, while it's 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 time to do your job and do that. So um, we just we continue to continue to have fun, man. That's. I think that's what always brings energy to the game. You know, at the same at the same time, yes, it's a job, but there's there definitely um, has to be some fun that's added into it, man. It's, the game is fun. You know? yep. 
and I gotta love it. No doubt. Gotta love the play. So, so yeah. No doubt yeah, about Cody, it. Man, now, he's a guy. He's one of the guys, man. That's awesome. Now I do want to get some fun now. So Miggy. You, you know, he's just checking off these milestones. And you were in that dugout when he got 3,000 <laughs> hit. And so, what's it been like during this time? Because, see, I had Mickey when he looked real hungry when he was 17 with the Marlins <laughs> at shortstop. Now, he doesn't look hungry anymore. He's just still doing his thing. How fun has it been to be around him? Oh, man. Mickey's great. I mean, he's one of a kind. You want me to another guy like Mickey? I mean... He's one of those guys that just like he'll come. He comes into the clubhouse. He's ready. He's he's ready to you know to have fun and play the game and and be able to learn from each situation. Even in, even in this this time now where he's late in his career, he still wants to learn. I think that's that's what uh, makes him just the greatest player he is too. That's one of the key things is he never wants to stop learning. And if there's something, there's a question that you know. Um, People are, are are willing to ask him. He he's there to you know take it all in, man. And to see uh, to see it, the three thousand hit um, for him, that was I'm sure that was special. A lot of people are um, just happy in, in general um, for the success that you know he's brought to this game and uh, to be mm -hmm. be a part of that and witness it, man. That mm -hmm. was great. So. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you with one uh, on Miggy. We heard Alex Avila is our teammate now here at MLB Network. Of course, a longtime teammate and friend of Miggy. And when Miggy was on the network a few weeks ago, Alex shared that uh, he's actually kind of strict with his wallet. Uh, he doesn't. He's not quick to help out teammates. <laughs> I don't want you to say anything, Daz. I, you don't say nothing. Don't confirm nor deny that statement from Alex. Don't Avila. be cheap. Don't, Miggy. Don't. I'm not trying to get you in trouble. I just want to know what is the interaction between you and Miguel Cabrera that you're going to take and with you? And his bank account. Not his bank account. Not his wallet, Daz. I'm not trying to get you in trouble. <laughs> does your Miguel Cabrera story that you're going to share with your kid one day? Oh my gosh! I could. Sorry, Mickey. This, sorry, sorry, sorry. There's just, there's just some, there's just some things that you just, what, 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 uh, what goes on between conversation, man? I mean, Mickey, Mickey is, a, he's, a, he's a funny guy, man. He's crazy. He makes you laugh. I definitely yeah. say he's a comedian. There's, a, yeah. there's times where he's a comedian. He's like a, he's like a comedian, man. There's times where you know he, he says something you just look at him, you just you just smile. He's like, oh, he's like a comedian, man. There's times where you know he says something you just look at him, you just start smiling, laughing because he, he just jokes around like a kid, man. So it's, uh, yeah. it's, uh, it's fun got to be around. I'm, I mean, one day I want to tell my kids, hey, man, like, Miggy, he's, he was, in, there's one, there's one thing I say about Miggy, he was always in the dugout, um, wanted to be involved, wanted to be involved, and that, that made me want to, you know, uh, have more passion for the game. So he's just, uh, mm -hmm. just, a, man, that's a good guy to be around, man. Yeah. That's a good guy to be around. No doubt. So, uh, All right, Dazzy, we got less than a minute. We got less than a minute left. I'm going to ask you just one rapid fire question, but it's a two part right, question. As a kid growing up in the locker room, <laughs> there had to be a favorite player that you love to be around, and there had to be a player that you're like, no, I'm staying away from him. He's, he's mean. <laughs> Not mean, but you know, like he's, he's in his work zone. Who's that favorite player? Gosh. That favorite player off the top of my head, say Ryan yeah. Brown. Oh, he's just a guy that, yeah, yeah. Ron Brown is just a guy. guy. He was, he was, he was just a guy that was just always cool. He's, he could, he could always come up to him and talk to him, and he just be like cool, just give you answers back. And that was the guy that was just, that kind of just rolled off on me. And one guy that was, a, one guy was a little like me, maybe standoffish a little bit. Uh, yeah, I didn't really, I didn't go over and bother anyone too much, you know, like that. But uh, I say, God. I probably had to say maybe the Corey Hart. picture that day. That's probably maybe, it. Oh, maybe Corey, Corey Hart. Chase, Corey maybe Corey scared Hart. Maybe he's, Corey. He was locked he's in. He's like, oh, I'm just not going to go up to him and just say, I'm not going to say anything, Corey Hart. Just let him do his thing. He's always, you know, going through his routine. Yeah. He just I was let him do yeah. his thing. I'll say, hey, Daz, we really appreciate the conversation, man. We could talk with you all day, but we're going to let you get back to the show and hit and show homers. So uh, stay healthy. Get raking, and congrats on making the electric play of the week presented by Chevrolet. All right, man, for sure, man. I appreciate you guys having me on here.